Finally, this lunchtime, a British woman has just completed an epic journey around the world using only a kayak, a bike and a rowing boat. Sarah Alton from Rutland set off from London four and a half years ago. This lunchtime, she ended her adventure by crossing Tower Bridge, the same place where it all began. Once she got her breath back, she told our reporter Richard Pallo about the journey and what it feels like to be finally home. It's been a pretty surreal day uh, so far. Just feels so special to be here and surrounded by all the people who've kind of helped make it happen and followed me and brought me home. So it's a, it's a really special feeling. Emotional. It is emotional. I spent most of the last few miles in tears and uh, either tears or a big grin on my face. Now, in the four and a half years, how tough was it? Well, there's been times when I didn't quite know if I was A, going to make it to the next place that I needed to make it to, whether it was going to be a shore or whether actually I was just going to survive. And, you know, that's, that's pretty tough when you're against odds like that. And what many people at home are probably wondering is simply why? Well, why put yourself through so much? For the adventure and the challenge and the learning and all the experience that comes with it and therefore all the kind of good energy you can put out from it as well. So specifically kind of raising money for my charities, uh, Copperfield, Jubilee Sailing Trust, MND Association and Water Aid, and also just inspiring people to kind of have a go at whatever it is that they want to have a go at. And one other thing now, you're going to get married. I am. I left here four and a half years ago, uh, not quite knowing what would happen down the river, beyond, etc. I certainly never imagined that I'd come home engaged, uh, heading into the biggest adventure of my life. So. That's right, I'm getting married in June. Sarah, congratulations. Good luck with that adventure. Amazing after being away for so long that the adventure that I guess might mean most to you is here at home. That's it. Join Mark Austin and Mary Nightingale for the ITV Evening News from everyone here right now. Bye-bye.